Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is hole number six of the Old Bridge Tournament Expert Division Qualifying Round. For our tee shot, we're going to use a rock level seven and above and either a Kingmaker or a Kingslayer ball. We're going to apply 1.7 backspin with three right spin and then position ourselves so the white ring is touching the fairway at the top of the plus nine yard position. That's with a rock level nine. If you're using a rock level eight, you'll be top of the plus 10 yard position. And if you're using a rock level seven, you'll be top of the plus 15 yard position. From here, our adjustment is going to be one win per ring. So I'm going to adjust 8.8 .8 rings. Then I'm going to apply max overpower with one and a half balls of right curl. We hit perfect. Looking to have the ball land past the bunker in the middle of the fairway and then bounce down toward the end of the fairway, finishing with a drive distance of 347 yards. For our approach shot, we're going to want a wood club with a lot of distance. Um, if you have a cat level 7 or above, or the ability to use a wood club with better ball guide, but possibly needing, needing to use a higher power ball to reach, um, then you're basically going to apply two top spin with one left spin and then set up with the ball guide to the hole. So with a cat 7 and 8, you'd have ball guide to the hole. If you have a limited ball guide uh, without the ability to put the ball guy to the hole then you can use your second bounce as a reference you can kind of see we're on the right side of that third dark green grid to the right of the hole and then we're going to use our landing position plus yardage to determine our slider percentage which we should play p3 plus zero percent elevation at 94 percent slider since we were at plus nine unfortunately i adjusted max numbers on accident so we're going to see here in a second how that affects the shot but we do hit perfect ball is going to land in the fairway bounce onto the or land in the rough, bounce onto the fairway, then we're gonna roll onto the green and we are going to finish a little bit short and a little bit right. So if I had adjusted properly, I think there's a good chance that that ball would drop. Um, so make sure you're adjusting the correct numbers when you play the setup. For further instructions on how to play this hole, make sure you guys click the link below and subscribe to Expert Tournament Guides or Golf Class Tommy. Good luck in your qualifying rounds.